what you're looking at here is the main screen of an Excel workbook. When you first launch Excel 2007, this entire um, spreadsheet here is called a workbook. You'll notice at the bottom you have the sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. These are called worksheets. So by default, I believe three of them come up. If you don't want the other ones, you can highlight that sheet, right click, and choose delete. Likewise, if you want to add a new sheet, there's a little uh, hover button here you'll notice on this tab. Just click it and you can create a new. If you want to change your sheet's name, you just highlight it, double click till it's highlighted, and then type over it. For example, you could put sales here. A couple of quick things I want to point out about Excel 2007 versus other versions. You'll notice the whole menu system has changed to this ribbon type design here. So to start off with, there's a Microsoft Office button up here, this little symbol here. Click it, and you'll notice you've got the common commands that you used to have typically under the file menu, such as file save, file open, file print, things like that. Up here you have a quick access toolbar where you can put common features that you typically use, such as save, undo, and redo. And over here, this is the biggest change. Rather than having the normal file, edit, view, menus underneath tabs here, or underneath menu items, you'll notice it's split up into different categories. So for example, under the home tab here, or category, you have the more common functions that you would use, common features. Everything from font to font color to bold, italics, underline, to different other functionality like insert, sort, and find. So those are the more common ones. And then what you'll notice is these categories, as you um, go through them, they're fairly self-explanatory. If you want to insert something in your worksheet, you click insert, and you'll have everything from tables, pictures, charts, hyperlinks, and other um, text items to add. Likewise, page layout is pretty self-explanatory to format the page. Formulas is, again, self-explanatory where you would go find formulas to use. Data is where you would sort, filter data, things like that. And then review and view are the other, tab, other categories. So if I go back to the home tab, that's primarily where you'll spend the majority of your time. Uh, one quick thing I want to point out is that in this quick access toolbar up here, if there's something that you really like to use and you want it always handy on that, on that quick access toolbar, go into the Microsoft Office button. You'll notice you'll have an Excel Options button down here. Click it. you'll get these categories here where you have formulas, proofing, and, and save options. For example, under save, you'll see save every 10 minutes. If you want to change that, you just change it there or you can completely uncheck it. But one thing I want to point out quickly is customize. This is going to customize your quick access toolbar. So right now you have save, undo, and redo in there. But if you always want to email your documents, you can click add. And let's assume that you want to, or you insert hyperlinks in your doc, in your spreadsheets all the time. You can do that and click Add, say OK, and there you see you have those new options up there, and they're always there, no matter where you're at in the menu system. The other thing you'll notice down here, you you have a couple options on the bottom right of the spreadsheet. That's a normal view. This is a page layout view, and a page break preview. So as we move forward in other lessons, we'll, we'll um, delve into these different features much, in much greater detail. You'll notice here you have a sliding toolbar. You can slide the size of the spreadsheet up and down, depending on what you want to do for sizing. Okay, but we're going to leave it back at 100%. At All right, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I just wanted to point out a couple of those quick things. And then on the next tutorial, we're going to make a basic spreadsheet. And we'll, uh, this one, we're just going to create a basic spreadsheet. And in this case, what I've done is I've pre-populated a uh, spreadsheet with uh, shoe orders here. So size 7 through size 12 in black shoes and then brown shoes here. 
And what I want to do is just show some basics about setting up a spreadsheet, how to put in formulas, you know, real basic formulas at this point, and how to, um, you know, create totals and copy formulas, things of that nature. So with, with that said, if you click here on, um, on column B, I put the list price of all the shoes here. On column C, I put in the discounts. This is a 10% discount, 5% discount, and so forth. Down here you'll notice I increased the discount for size 11 and 12 brown shoes, uh, you know, because you're, you're trying to unload inventory and you're willing to sell them at 20% off to the retailer that you're selling them to. So then over here on column D, this is the quantity that you're selling to the retailer. Okay, this column E is the net price each for each one. So how do we figure that out? You take the list price and you take the discount off the list price. So the easiest way to do that, there's a couple different ways you could do that. Right, you could say equals, all formulas start with equal sign by the way, equals B2 times, times point 90 percent right and that would give you forty five dollars that's not really recommended what you did is you just took you you took the you took ten percent off of a hundred and made it ninety percent and the reason why you don't want to do that is there's different discount values here and you want to use as much automation as possible so how we're going to do this is we're going to click up here in the formula bar here hit the backspace and get rid of that get rid of the um, ninety percent so what we're going to do, we're going to say equals B2, which is the list price um, cell over here. And we want to take that discount off. So how we do that is we put a parentheses and we say 1 minus the discount and we close parentheses. So now we get the same result, but now we have a much more dynamic formula. And the reason why we did that is now I can take this, to highlight that cell, bring my cursor down with the left mouse button when I get across there I haven't pressed any buttons yet on the mouse now I'm going to press the left mouse button and I'm just going to hold it pressed drag my cursor all the way down to the bottom where I want to copy that formula and then let go you see what it did it copied that formula all the way down um, and now dynamically this automatically went to, went to row 3 row 4, and so forth. So that makes it much, much simpler to copy and paste um, formulas. In this case, now we want to get the total. So that's really simple. We just say equals the quantity times our discounted price. And there it is. So what we do here, same thing, if we want to copy that down, we just copy it down the same way we did, we wait till we get that we get that cross, click and hold on with the left mouse button all the way down to the bottom, and you'll get it highlighted like that, and you will um, populate all those um, all those cells. So now there's multiple ways to do that. I can click the undo button here. Now I could say I could right click this and say copy, and then say paste right click and say paste, right click and say paste. That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. So I'm going to hit escape and you notice that it goes off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to back those out. I didn't mean to do that. So I'm going to hit redo here, put that there, I'm going to hit escape, and I'm going to wait till I get my, cur my cross there, drag it down, let go of the mouse, and there we have it. Now the total for order, what we want to do in order to get a total, there's a couple things we can do. Right, we could hit insert, and we could insert a um, we could insert a um, a formula of some sort. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, it's under formulas. We could insert a, a formula. However, this is a pretty easy one. So what we're going to do, we're going to say equals sum, and you notice when you start typing, you'll get all the pop-ups. And what we're going to do is we're going to choose sum, and then we open the cursor, and you notice it tells you what tells you how to put it in there. In this case, we just want to sum from F2 here, and click and drag, click and hold with the left mouse button, drag down to the last cell that you want to include in your formula, let go, close the bracket,
close the parentheses, and you, you're now you're summarizing from F2 to F13, hit return. Okay? So $11,785. So a couple of quick things I want to show you that you probably want to do. The first one is that if you're going to present this to a customer, you would want to clean this up a little bit. So the first thing you would do is under discount, you'd probably, rather than saying 0.1 and 0.05, you'd probably want to actually put it in a percentage format. So there's a couple different ways to do that. The easiest way is just to highlight those cells, right click with your mouse button, choose format cells, and now you'll notice there's several options here in this box. So we want to go down to percentage, and by default this is put in two decimal places. In this case we don't need two decimal places, so we'll just hit that arrow or type in zero here. Click OK. Now it converts those to uh, actual percentage, um, so it views as a percentage. Under net price, we probably want to put that in a dollar format. Again, highlight all the cells, let go, right click, hit format cells. This time, we want to go under currency, and we probably want to give it two decimal places. And in this case, we can decide whether we want this dollar symbol here or not. In this case, we'll go ahead and get rid of it. You click here, and there's a drop down, and you can say none. Okay? This first cell right here, you might want to put a... First thing we will probably want to do is put this as a currency value, $900, with the dollar symbol. And we probably want to put these as currency, maybe without the dollar symbol. So we're going to do the same thing, and we go into currency, and we're going to go ahead and get rid of the symbol this time. And then down here, we're going to go ahead and highlight this cell, format that cell, put it in currency, two decimal places, and leave the dollar symbol. Okay, so then we're going to say OK. And there you have a total, fairly clean, quick looking spreadsheet. Obviously you would want to clean this up a lot more, but I just want to show you briefly how to set this up few last things I want to show you is you'll notice over here the cell isn't large enough for these for a few of the um, uh, titles so you can change the column with a couple of different ways one way is to click move your mouse up top here click anywhere move your mouse up top here you see when you get the cross symbol click I'm not I'm not holding down any mouse button now by the way I get the cross symbol, I click and hold on my left mouse button, and I just drag it out. You see now it's big enough, but there's multiple ways to do that. Another way to do it is highlight the column with the left mouse button, let go of the left mouse button, right click, and say column width, and you can type in a number, 15 for example. Okay. Another thing you can do is click under under, let's see, where was that? Under Home, click under Cells, and click Format, and say Column Width, and say Auto Fit Column Width, and it'll do it for you automatically. Okay, and the last thing that I want to show you is now you've made a table, what you can do is under Insert, you can click, I'm sorry, now that you made a spreadsheet, under Insert, you can say Insert Table, and you can say insert that whole that block by default will come up and you say my table has headers which is basically the titles say OK and you'll notice over here you get all these drop down filters so for example if you only want to see size 12 brown shoes you uncheck select all go down here to size 12 brown shoes wherever it's at right here say OK and it filters them out. Okay? A couple quick things I want to show you there and you can do that for anything. Show me the you know show me all the shoes that are $45. Right? And you can see these are all your shoes for $45. Alright, thanks so much for joining and